What's up guys, it's Firestar here, and welcome back to some more Let's Play Diddy Kong Racing. In the last episode, we finished off Sherbet Island by tackling the trophy race. And with that being done, we're pretty much halfway done through this game. And now we're about to move on to the next world. And we're going to do it with Pumpa. Pumpa. Woohoo! Alright, let's do it. Whoa, 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 too close. Too close. Okay. Alright, now... If I saw the ending to the last episode, you'll know where we're going. And to get there, I'm gonna need the plane. No, no, whoops, whoops. My bad. Okay. So yeah, let's head off to the next world, which is Snowflake Mountain. Oh, the music in the snow area is so peaceful, it's so calming. Oh, what? Ball and loop the loop. That's all I gotta say. Alright, we're gonna take on Snowflake Mountain. Everfrost Peak, which is a plane race. Not many of these are, like, standardly a plane. <laughs> it looks a lot like Christmas. Even though it is, like, the end of July. <laughs> hmm. We're flying, we're flying. Hmm. Woohoo! Woohoo! You, know you know what? That's just gonna be a thing. That's just gonna be a thing now. Every time I just bump, play bumper, every time we hit any kind of boost, we will go, Woohoo! Look at that. Woohoo! Woohoo! Hmm. Ugh. After racing TT, this feels so slow now. Like, oh my god. Like, I, f I feel like a snail. And it's not even because of Bumper, because Bumper, in terms of how he races in the game, is he's very smooth. Like, kind of a like average, almost like Diddy Kong average, you know? So it's just like, I feel, sp after the last episode, I feel spoiled. Like, woohoo! Like, using TT, I'm not even gonna lie, it felt so dirty. Like, because, oh, oh god, oh god, walls, wait, I feel like these should be like snow, that's, no, that shouldn't even, no, never mind, no, I'm not even, no, but yeah, at the end of the last episode, when, when like, after we, fin after we finished the trophy race, I just looked at my computer and see the, the recording time, and it was just like, it was like seven and a half minutes, but that kind of <laughs> found it funny, because like, you know, doing four races, I felt like it would take like, eight, nine, or ten minutes, kind of like what each episode has been so far. You know, except for this one in Sherbet Island, because, you know, that day, that time I was using Crunch, we, no, we don't talk about that, but, yeah, like, it ended off at seven and a half minutes, and then you subtract, like, a, I would subtract probably, like, around a minute to a minute and a half for the intro, me actually getting to the world, so... It was roughly over six minutes, that trophy race, and it's kind of like... That amazed me, because, like, I have never completed a trophy race that quickly before. Now I realize why TT is probably, like, top tier in this game. I would probably say, like, TT, Tip Top, and Tipsy are, like, top tier because of their acceleration. Honestly, Crunch probably would be, too, if... If his acceleration wasn't, like, so bad. Wait, wait, not even his... Well, yeah, his acceleration and his turning. If both of those weren't so bad, Grunch would probably be top tier. I guess... I guess that's one thing I should probably talk about once we go through this. What are you guys' con like thoughts on the concept of, like, tiering? Kind of like the whole aspect of, like... Competitive play. And, like, how tiers are formed based off of it. In my personal opinion, it's good. I mean, not like good to have, like have tears, like good to, that tears exist to kind of like show, I guess, a level of hierarchy between characters. That way you kind of know like how one character kind of meshes out in comparison to in comparison to everyone else in that specific game, like like. I mean, for example, like, I will just take Smash Bros, for instance. I'll take Brawl, like... Like, top tier in Brawl was, like, what? Falco, Diddy Kong... 
Snake, and then, you know, we have Meta Knight in its own separate tier, and then we have, like, low tier from Brawl, which is, which is like, what, Jigglypuff, Ganondorf, Zelda, Link. Oh, oh, wait, hold on. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, but, yeah, I mean, like, one of my reasons for disliking tiers, well, okay, I have two reasons, like, the main reason kind of being, uh, it's based off of competitive play, and while I do get that since the best way to determine a tiering system is based on how, like, people who are, who excel at the game play that character, you know? So, it makes sense that that is where tiers derive from, but it's the fact that, I don't know, when people see tiers, people have this mindset of just kind of like, oh my god, he's top tier, I gotta, I gotta play and match him, like, I feel like, Oh, 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 oh god. Oh god. Okay, anyway. I- Oh god, I'm in 8th place. Oh lord. Wait, hold on, hold on. Okay, that's better. Okay. But yeah, I kind of feel like with tears, people just have this kind of mindset of, I need to play what's best, instead of kind of like... Expanding their horizons. For, you know, lack of a better way to say that. Because, like, for instance, like, with me... Like, I... With any game, I rarely ever play, like, you know, I, I rarely ever play top top tier characters. Not necessarily because, like, I'm against, like, the whole concept of top tier, which I'm not, like, League of, Le League of Legends, I, some of the characters I'm playing really good at are kind of, like, top tier for their roles, at least for this met for the meta at the moment, the ever-changing meta, but that's a story for another episode. But like, a lot of the characters I typically play are kind. Of, oh wow! I thought I hit the. I thought I had the blue balloon. But yeah, a lot of the characters I tend to play are kind of like mid to low tier, and honestly, I feel like those type of characters are the types you know whose playstyles are the most interesting. And it's the fact that they probably do have the kind of high skill curve, which makes it enjoyable, makes it a challenge. Now, before I continue, we're going back to Snowball, to Snowball, not Snowball, ugh, Snowball Valley, because the wish key for the battle stage is here, and it's right around, it's, it's just, yeah, it's the corner. That's easy. <clears throat> Ooh, and we unlock the door, to, and we lock the door to the battle stage, which, as per how we typically do things in this Let's Play, we'll tackle that after we tackle the boss. But before we get to the balls, we're gonna move on to the final race of this world, Frosty Village. <clears throat> Frosty Village. I kind of wish with this game. Oh wow, I so screwed that up. Anyway, I kind of wish with this game, like they they did it, like they did they would do what they did with like at least the Mario Kart games, at least the later ones, where when you start like a cuff or a race or whatever, you get like an overview of like what the track is, that way you kind of know what you're going into. When you when you do like standard mode, when you just select an individual track, like if you hover over for a while, it will do, it will do that. But I don't know, I like Mario Kart's way of doing it, where you just kind of like, you get, you get it after you select whatever cuff you're, you're going to do, whatever ri track you're about to do, and you get the overview then. I don't know, I feel like it's more it's more cohesive with them that way. But that's just my opinion. Mm. Also I also I must say with, with this track especially, I like the I love the setting. Kind of like you got this you got this little village in snow time, you you got you know, you got this forest here with kind of I don't know, it's almost like a mist as it snows. I don't know, it just it's kind of like that whole it's like the whole look of kind of like a snowy, kind of like a snowy winter eve. A snowy winter eve. I mean, that kind of atmosphere is kind of like really kind of quiet, calm, and peaceful. And it's, I like I like that. I like that a lot. And I, and the music really can. Well, actually, the music I get more like. I don't know. Again, it's again again I, again it's kind of almost like a Christmas type of feel, you know. And it's funny. I'm, saying this about snow and stuff because, you know, living in Georgia. Oh, oh, mine. Oh, mine. Yeah, yeah, like living in Georgia, you don't, you, 
we really don't see snow that often. You know, unless, um, um, uh, unless you know, a random snowstorm starts to appear and, y y you know, r rain drops down about, you know, four or five inches out of nowhere. Because that's what Georgia's weather is like. Well, not even Georgia's weather, Atlanta more specifically. I'm Atlanta's weather daily changes like the seasons. Like, it's so weird. But anyway, we're on to the boss race. Well done! Now, I challenge you to a race! Yay! Anyway, we're against this walrus. I forget his name. I'll put it up into this video somewhere. Um, but yeah, this race is pretty much identical to the Tricky, the Triceratops race, only except instead of racing uphill, we're going downhill, and unfortunately, this is a hovercraft race. Nothing in this world is a hovercraft, but this race had to be. But anyway, it's this is probably the easiest boss race you will have. It's very easy to get ahead of him, and unless you, like, really screw up, and I mean by really screw up, I mean like running to running set like every tree consistently, you, this, you shouldn't have any kind of problem with this race. How incredibly s simple it is, especially for the fact that you don't have to worry about labs, it's just one race from start to finish. And we just look at the map, look how far back he is compared to where we are in the finish line, it's just like right up there. Like, see, look how high up the mountain he is, it's kind of funny. <laughs> Well done! Now try my new challenge! Collect all the silver coins from the snow world, from, and from each level, and win! Then come back and see me! But before we do that, a little bit of tip from Taj. Take your finger off the acceleration, acceleration just before you hit a zipper. I probably should have mentioned that from like the start of this game because that's what I've been doing. But basically, if you release the acceleration button just before you hit a boost or use a boost, you will get a better speed boost. And that's at, and you know you've pulled off correctly because you'll see like multicolored smoke. Oh wow, okay. You didn't get stuck there. You'll see like multicolored smoke coming from the back of your car and the boost will be green will will look green. Anyway, I take too long to explain things. I didn't. I haven't explained what this battle stage is. This stage is Icicle Pyramid. It's a pretty much a three-tier. Oh, let me fall down here. Easier to track people. This is pretty much a three-tier pyramid, and the rules are just like Darkwater Beach. The last player standing will win. Only said this one's probably. I wouldn't say more difficult than. Oh god. It's not more difficult than Darkwater Beach, just... Oh, that was a homing missile. It's more time-consuming than Darkwater Beach, just... Basing off the fact that... It's three tiers, you gotta constantly go up and down... And Diddy Kong's life. Bonk. Okay. But yeah, it's the fact that it's three tiers, you constantly have to move between floors to catch everybody, so it's it's not as like oh it's not as open as Darkwater Beach was, so it presents itself more of a challenge that way, and we're gonna Conquer's gonna come out of here. I see it. I see it happen. Yep, come Conquer. Oh, bonk. Bye Banjo. Alright, we all we have left is Conquer. And also on the map, a good way to determine where they are in the, in the pyramid, the, their, the player icon on the map changes size depending on what level you are on. Right now, Conquer just dropped down to level two, the mid level. The oh, 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 wow! I shot them far too late. Yeah, so like level two is like regular size. The first level is small size, while the top level is like giant size. And Conquer hit my mind. Perfect. Because I heard, I kind of heard the explosion. She just kind of took damage. He, he. Let's see if I can do this. It got him. Yeah. 
and we have Taj. I'm just gonna skip this because we already know what we're getting. We already know. Amazing! You now have three pieces of the amulet. Just one more piece to go. Good luck! Good luck, guys! Go get them! Gee willikers! But yeah, with Icicle P Pyramid done, all we have to... What's, ne what's next our way is the Silver Coin Challenge, and we'll tackle that on the next episode. Thank you guys for watching, and I will catch you guys later.